Welcome to another PQRS On Demand video. Before we start, you might want to ensure that you have already watched video B1 as content covered in that video is referenced and explained in more detail in video 2, which is this video. Let's expand on the information covered in the video titled Introduction to Sun Hours. We saw in the previous video that different regions have varying degrees of irradiation. You would remember seeing this slide. We also saw that places like Durban has 4.3 peak sun hours and Johannesburg has 5.4. If we take this 300 watt solar module, how do we apply the information we learned from the previous video? What does 5.4 peak sun hours have to do with a solar module when we know we actually have an average of 12 hours of sunlight per day in the Johannesburg region throughout the year? Let's look at the production of a 300 watt solar panel in the Johannesburg region. On this slide we have a graph showing the x-axis representing time where it shows the duration of a full day starting at 5 a.m. and finishing at 7.30. We almost have 14 hours of daylight. The y-axis represents power and shows the power output of the panel throughout the day. In video S1 we will be looking at the differences between power and energy. Now might be a good time to do a brief introduction into the principle of energy. Energy is equal to power multiplied by time, which happen to be the units represented on the x and y axis of this graph. We could therefore say that when we look at the production of this 300 watt solar panel, what we are seeing is the energy produced throughout the day. Simplified. Energy is nothing more than the representation of very small increments of power measured over a period of time. And in this case, it's over a period of one day. When the peak sun hours are referenced, it actually tells us the amount of energy that can be generated over a period of one day, where the 5.4 hours have been averaged over a period of a year. We'll take a look at this principle in the upcoming slide. In order to calculate the energy that can be generated by a solar module, first of all, we find the nameplate rating of the solar panel. This can be found on the sticker on the back of the module, usually under or in the vicinity of the junction box. The information displayed on the nameplate is a condensed version and should be the same information as displayed on the module's data sheet. Once you have found this value, you will simply have to identify the area of the installation estimate the number of peak sun hours and it should be relatively straightforward to do the rest of the calculation. The peak sun hour value takes the long summer days and the short winter days into consideration and the average is taken over a period of a year resulting in Johannesburg having 5.4 peak sun hours per day based on a rate of 1000 watts per meter squared when all the days throughout the year have been averaged. We will be able to take the power output of the solar panel or size of the solar system and multiply it by the time or peak sun hours for the respective region of the installation in order to derive a value to show the amount of energy being produced per day. The slide therefore shows us the average energy generation potential of a 300 watt panel in different regions based on the principle that different areas have different levels of irradiation. Thank you for joining us in this video. In the next video we will take a look at the difference between power and energy, how to differentiate between them and where those calculation and values can be applied in a solar PV system.